wonder if Biff finished the wax job on my 4x4. Dad must have used that to haul away all those books from Doc's estate sale. I better use... I better use the front door, just in case. When did we get a bug zapper? Anyone home? There's something wrong with my key. Please, not now. Tomorrow. Give me another day. It's Marty, Dad. Open up. Marty? No, that's impossible. Marty was run out of town. I've got a bad feeling about this. What are you talking about? What's the matter, Dad? Are you in trouble or something? This is a trick. Go away. Leave us alone? Haven't we suffered enough? Mom. Mom, it's Marty, Mom. Open up. It sounds like Marty, but it must be a trick. Mom! Go away. Shame on you. How can I convince you? Tell me something. Only Marty would know. Ah. When I was eight, when I was eight years old, I set fire to the living room rug. That's right. Oh, my Lord. What are you waiting for, George? Let him in. Stupid locks. Marty! Oh, my God, Dad. What happened to you? What do you think happened, butthead? Biff. I thought we told you to stay out of town, shrimp. Biff, whatever's going on, I'm sure we can handle it. Uh, reasonably. Who are they? <laughs> like you don't know Cliff and Riff. What do you think we should do with them, baby bro? What we should have done years ago, big bro. I'm gonna enjoy this, McFly. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm trying to process here. What the hell did you do to my dad? Your dad's been in that wheelchair since before you were born, butthead. And you better hope he has a spare, cause you're gonna need one in like three seconds. Ooh. I got a question. <laughs> Why are you guys so pissed at me? You don't remember? You've really lost it, McFly. Think back. The thing with the manure truck. Which one? Oof. Hey! And another thing. What are you guys doing here, anyway? It's that time of the month. Time for Georgie to pay up. We usually take the payment in cash, but this month we can take it out of your hide! Tell me. Why can't you pick on somebody else? We do! We pick on lots of guys. It's kind of our thing. Oh! Here's what I still don't understand. How long have you been coming down on my dad like this? Ever since that school dance, when Georgie laid Biff out in the parking lot. Ha <laughs> ha! Shut up, it's not funny. Someone messes with the Tannen family, the Tannen family never lets him forget about it. Biff! Wait, does all this have something to do with Kid Tannen? Pop? What about him? He was supposed to end up in jail. Jail? Pop's never spent a day in jail in his life! The Tannen Gang's the fifth most dangerous crime family in California. We got connections all over the place. No way. You don't believe me? Beth, no!
Spang! Ha <laughs> ha! Check it out. To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. That's Don Valenti, godfather of the Sacramento mob. The third most dangerous crime family in California. Piece of cake. I never should have let that floozy talk me out of rubbing out your grandfather. Huh? Kid? No one in Hill Valley messes with the Tannen family. Marty, get in! This timeline's been compromised! No kidding! Somehow, something we did in 1931 allowed Kid Tannen to escape his date with justice. As a consequence, the Tannens have been unchecked in Hill Valley for over 50 years. Ah, jeez, they robbed the arcade? We've got to go back to the day Kid Tannen was supposed to be arrested. Figure out what went wrong and fix it. Otherwise, you could be forever stuck in a town owned by the Tannens. Not an option, Doc. Punch it. Okay, Doc. Let's run through this again. Sometime tonight, Kid Tannen is supposed to be betrayed by his mole, the singer named Trixie Trotter. That hot babe I saw coming out of the speakeasy. Exactly. When she does, history says Tannen will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. Parker? Parker? Hey, do you think he's related to Jennifer Parker, my girlfriend? Could be. Heavy. In any event, somehow we've changed history so that neither of these events happens. Condemning your family to generations of abuse at the hands of the Tannen crime family. You need to go back into Tannen's speakeasy, find out what's gone wrong, and get Kid Tannen arrested. No problem, Doc. Let me just put on my hat and I'm good to go. Is the mustache really necessary? It's essential. You can't let Kid know that you're the same troublemaker that foiled his attempt to kill me. Are you sure you can't come in with me? It's far too dangerous. You may be easy to disguise with your nondescript features, but ever since my daring escape from the police and the mob, my distinctive face has been plastered over every paper from here to Reno. Nondescript? I'll find a safe place to hunker down. That flop house ought to fit the bill. You can find me there if you need me. <laughs> 